Let's talk about optionals. So an optional is something that's new in Swift and essentially uh, any type has an optional type that goes along with it and it's essentially saying whether it's in the, the type uh, in question or it's absolutely nothing. Sounds a little bit weird but I think if we go through an example you will understand. So here we have a variable called dog age and what we're doing is we have the string one two three and we want to convert it into an int so we want dog age to be an int uh, so there's this two int method it's great and if you see here on the right thanks to playground um, this is not a normal uh, int right like if we just assigned one two three uh, it just returns one two three instead what we got back was a int operational and that if you want to see the actual type is specified by int question mark and any type that is an operational is just the name of the type with a question mark after it and essentially what this int operational is saying is dog age is either an int or it's nothing and the case where it would be nothing is if it wasn't able to convert the string correctly so for example if I put some uh, characters in here it's not able to convert it into an int and now the uh, int operational is saying this is not anything at all. Um, so the way that you can kind of you know check to see if this actually worked is using an if statement. So we can go ahead and say if dog age, and that's saying you know this isn't checking anything about the actual value of dog age, but it's just saying this int operational is it an actual int or is it nothing? So if it is something uh, then you could do something uh, with doggage. If not then we know that it's equal to nil, right? So remember we put some characters in there it becomes nil. But let's say it is, is, it is a valid uh, value, right? So it turned this int operational is 123. You'll see we can't use doggage as a normal int. It's an int operational and the way to convert it to a regular int is simply putting an exclamation point after it. Now you got to be a little bit careful with this. This is a valid use because we've checked to see if dog age is a valid int. Um, but if you know if we were to do this outside, we could run into some serious issues. You know, if it wasn't actually uh, a valid int, if it was just set to nil, uh, you would have some major problems. So in one more exercise to kind of explain more about what a uh, operational is. Um, so let's go ahead and make a uh, int called dog age, right? Specify it as an int. So let's say the dog age is 12, totally valid, right? What if we for some reason want to say, okay, dog, dog age doesn't even exist anymore um, and we try and set it to nil? we are going to get a freak out from the compiler saying you can't do that. That's because the int type cannot be set to nil, but what can be set to nil is an int operational. So we put the question mark behind int, it now becomes an int operational, and you can set either a int value or you can set it equal to nil. So I hope this kind of helps you understand uh, what operationals are. And again, it's not limited to ints. Uh, you can do this with doubles, you can do it with uh, strings, you can, I mean, obviously if it's a string, we're going to have to put a valid string in there. Um, but, I mean, you kind of get the picture. The, an operational is a, is a way to make any type either the value it's claiming to be or absolutely nothing. And that's something that's cool uh, with Swift that did not exist in Objective C. So in Objective C, um, you know, there were certain types like an int or a double that could not be set to nil. And in uh, Swift, optionals of any type can be set to nil, not just object types. So, uh, I mean, it's neat that you can pass uh, an int operational and be able to set it to nil. That's a really cool feature in Swift, I think.